Hi everyone. There's a big event coming to Las Vegas here in about two weeks from November 16th to November 18th that combines my love of engineering and construction and that of motorsports. And that of course is the 2023 F1 race in Las Vegas. One of them is Michael Schumacher in the Mercedes. Schumacher just staying enough ahead at the moment. I've been a motorsports fan for a long time. In fact, my two youngest boys and I just attended a motorcycle track school in Southern California, and it was a blast. To me, the planning, logistics, and construction associated with this Formula One event is truly impressive. Organizers will turn a couple of private parking lots and the city streets around the Las Vegas Strip into a 3.8 mile race course where the Formula One cars will reach speeds of over 230 miles per hour. This track will have 17 turns, three straightaways, and the event will be running at night, so that's gonna be quite spectacular. Estimated lap times will be around a minute and a half. So in this video, I want to provide an overview of this massive success in fast-paced urban construction. The main facilities that had to be constructed for this project include the paddock building, grandstands, track lighting, barrier fencing, temporary bridges, and roadway paving along one of the busiest streets in the world. The contractors include Penta, Las Vegas Paving, and Miller Project Management providing construction management services. F1 officials have already invested over $500 million in the build out with city officials being asked to cover $40 million associated with the $80 million roadway improvements, which also included some much needed utility relocations. By far the most construction was for the 1,000 foot long, 100 foot wide paddock building. The lower level will be for the teen garages and the upper level will be for hospitality suites and an observation deck. There will also be a basement level and underground tunnels. The paddock site involved the placement and compaction of over 270,000 cubic yards of fill and Penta only had access to this site for 11 months. Note that almost all the grandstands built along the race course will be temporary and taken down after the race. It is anticipated that the F1 race this year will bring in over $1.3 billion in spending to Las Vegas over the course of the event. This economic impact is double the $650 million estimated impact to come from the upcoming Super Bowl to be held in Las Vegas. Not only that, it looks like F1 will run in Las Vegas each year for the next 10 years. For the roadway or track, the pavement section had to be redone. This involved milling out the asphalt to the soil subgrade and coming back with four layers of paving, which are the two base course layers, the leveling course, and the surface course. Most of this roadway and paving work was done during nighttime hours to minimize traffic disruptions. There have been some complaints about these impacts, but such inconveniences are really unavoidable given the scale of what's being undertaken here and the physical constraints that are involved. I really like this interview segment featuring a worker from Las Vegas Paving. We don't mess around. Las Vegas paving. We're going to come in, get her done, make it right, and get all the people what they want. Nice fast track right down the boulevard. We know it stinks, you know, trying to get through traffic. We got them all to one side. Yeah. Just bear with us. It'll, it'll be worth it in the long run. We'll get to watch some cars go fast, and you'll even get to drive on F1 track for a little bit. Just don't drive like the F1 cars. Those are the kind of people you want to work with in construction. The public roads that will be part of the race course include Covo Lane, Sands Avenue, and East Harmon Avenue. One of the things I think is funny is people complaining about the trees being cut down along the sidewalk in front of the Bellagio Fountains. This is because when you consider the history of Las Vegas, it is the city with the least ties to its past, and it's all about making things bigger and better for the future. But having said this, this F1 event is probably the most sustainable major event to be held in Las Vegas. The roadway will not need rework for a period of at least six years. Also, as I mentioned, most of the grandstands will be taken down and reassembled each year. Contrast that with, say, the Olympic game venues, where facilities costing hundreds of millions of dollars may only get used for a total of a few days. Now let's talk about the cost to attend this event. The cheapest tickets were a three-day standing room only pass that cost $500. There weren't many of those available and they sold out quickly. There are places like the grandstands and the Bellagio fountains that are charging $10,000 for a three-day pass, and that does not include the hotel package. 
There are also restaurants and bars along the course that offer food, drink, and viewing packages, typically for around $1,000 a day. If Las Vegas can successfully host this event, which I believe they will, it will continue to bring in massive amounts of money and interest in the city for many years to come. It will also have served to provide a major source of revenue to area construction and engineering firms. In fact, I think this capability of rapid, high-end construction in congested urban environments could really prepare the United States going forward. I mean, there's going to be instances where bridges are taken out of service unexpectedly, say when that uh, fire erupted under a section of freeway in Philadelphia. Temporary structures have to be brought in. Just the, the logistics and managing infrastructure work in the midst of massive congestion is a major skill, it's a major capability. And I think these kind of projects foster the development of this technology and management expertise. If you like this kind of content, be sure to check out my link in the video description for your free digital download of my guide to the top civil engineering disasters of the last 100 years. Also, please be sure to hit those like, subscribe, and notification buttons.